Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. John Lewis is a retail store here in the UK and its Christmas advert is a big deal to such a degree they say that until John Lewis's advert doesn't come out Christmas has not started. That's a genia. So let me give you the quick synopsis. There's a kid who finds an alien in the forest. They meet and the way they bond is the kid tells him about Christmas and celebrates Christmas with him in the forest. Then the alien goes home. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know they probably spent thousands making that advert but it's, it's pretty much what happened, yeah? Now let's get to the nitty gritty. Both kids were 14 years of age. Yeah, the kid from Earth was a black kid, which of course is a problem for the racists. So they started going mental on Twitter. I think it's good when TV does this every now and then because it takes the racists out of the holes that they're in so we can identify who they are frankly. But the alien however was depicted as gender neutral. Have a look, is he a boy? Sorry, is they a boy? Or is they a girl? And on top of that, in the middle of the advert, when both of them are bonding, they're watching a program in which two people are kissing. Then they look at each other. Oh, there's this energy between them. Ho ho ho! They're 14 year old kids for God's sake. One of them's a flaming alien. And even then there needs to be some sort of, you gotta bring sexuality into it. And then in the end, of course, they gotta make sure that, you know, their agenda's made clear and the alien kisses him and then they go. So two things here, why on earth are they so intent on sexualizing our kids? And number two, why are they so intent on creating gender confusion amongst them? If they're not confused enough mate. And even kids channels like Cartoon Network, they boast in 2018 of having their first LGBT wedding. While all that's going on you got some people identifying as a cat and of course there's a gender called Arbor gender where a person identifies as a tree. What? Now imagine yeah someone owes you money and you're hotting them up. In the middle of the conversation my man starts identifying as a plum tree. Flaming Nora. You know what in that situation I'm gonna identify as a lumberjack mate. <laughs> Guys, gone are the days where you can just passively raise your kids. Stick them in front of the telly love. Just hand her an iPad and shut her up. Gone are the days where the extent of your deen is just the Jummah Salah. Because if you don't practice your religion, then it's gonna impact your kids. And the repercussion it can have on your kids, it's just too much nowadays. Atheism, it's gone to LGBT. A child's confused about their moral compass. In fact, atheism has no moral compass. So if they leave the religion, they leave that morality. And listen, yeah, look, our morality as believers comes from God. We call it objective morality. But godless people, atheists, their morality comes from the pain and pleasure principle of Jeremy Bentham and then later on John Stuart Mill. They say if pleasure is more than pain, good. And of course it shouldn't harm people and the majority need to be okay with it. These are principles that we are seeing being manipulated today. This is being exploited today by the media manufacturing people's consent. And this is how we see people winning elections and people doing all sorts of madness. In fact, when you speak to an atheist, I challenge you, I challenge you to ask him or her or they that if incest that's brother and brother, sister, sister, mother, son, father, daughter, incest, if incest took place between two consenting adults that were using protection is it wrong? They will not be able to prove that it's wrong and that's why you've got their leading academics like Lawrence Krauss and Richard Dawkins. Um, two sisters they can't produce children which are disabled, they're in love and they're not harming anyone. So my question is, apart from saying it's disgusting, weird and therefore wrong, can you give one good reason as to why two people are in love and not harming people shouldn't be together? Just um, I think you're absolutely right. I can see no reason at all why, uh, why the, these two sisters shouldn't 
we shouldn't marry if they, if they want to. Why is incest wrong? It's, uh, it's not clear to me that it's wrong. Okay. It's clear to me. It, there's, a, there's an evidence. No, no, no. No, no, no. Listen, listen to me. And then they can't prove that intercourse with animals is wrong. As long as you're not hurting the animals. I'm also in favor of animal rights. <clears throat> and ask them about necrophilia. Can you prove having intercourse with a dead body mate is wrong? And that's why you hear on Sky News this guy getting jiggy with a stiffy. Huh? What? <laughs> and that's the thing. Yes, it's in the news and people are saying, yeah, it's wrong. But tomorrow, if everybody agrees it's okay, within the moral structure of the West, how are you going to say that it is wrong? <sighs> May Allah protect us. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, don't forget your salahs and please learn about your religion for God's sake. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.